The Chinese government is doing a better job in looking after the concerns of ordinary citizens than the Europeans are doing at the moment. That's the view of Independent for Change MEP Mick Wallace speaking in a Chinese Communist Party newspaper, The Global Times. Uh, Mick Wallace joins us now. Mick, were you being polite or do you actually believe that statement? Well, I mean, let's look at the, at the evidence and... Uh the Chinese, and uh, they used to be called the Chinese government, but uh, for because uh, communism is supposed to be a derogatory term, uh, the mainstream media prefers to call them uh, the Chinese Communist Party now, but it's the Chinese government. Uh, yeah, no, no and, I think uh, I call them from, the Chinese government. My, so. Very good. Well, I'm yeah. glad to hear that, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, from 1990 to 2015, uh, uh, and it's been even better since, but in that period, according to the UN, the Ch- Chinese lifted 750 million people uh, above po- out of the poverty, right? And in and the there was a UN report published at, recently, and they showed that in the rest of the world, actually things are going backwards, and that despite uh, goals being set uh, even in 2015. Uh, Things have actually disimproved in many parts of the world, and inequality is rising because of neoliberal policies being implemented. Okay. Whereas uh, the Chinese, because they have uh, state-led development, has managed to do this. Listen, I'm I'm not a fan of any government on the planet, and if I was living in China, I'd be given out about the government too. If I was living in Russia, I'd be given out about the government. I find most government. I find I've never found a government that I'd say. Yeah. Uh, well, I suppose like the difference is, Mike, if you were living in China, you wouldn't be giving out about the government because you wouldn't be allowed well, to give out about uh, the government, or you'd probably be in prison if you were given out about the government. I don't agree with that, and I don't agree with an awful lot of the anti-Chinese rhetoric that's taking place at the moment, and it's disappointing that uh, some uh, Irish newspapers are going down that line as well. If you were in the European Parliament for the last 12 months, the anti-Chinese rhetoric that's taking place here is absolutely Mm. frightening. right? And listen, China is our biggest trading partner, and as you know, uh, Simon Coveney was over in China only recently, right? And we, well, what we're pushing for in the European Parliament is we want engagement with China, not confrontation. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And that's, that's important. Enga- engagement is important. But I, look, I do have to put it to you, uh, Mick. I mean, for example, their treatment of the Uyghur um, uh, ethnic okay, uh, well, ma- minority. Yeah. A million detained, mass labour camps, indoctrinated. Let me just read you a quote. Let me just read you a quote from a Uyghur uh, Muslim. It doesn't matter, and this is someone who has left China, it doesn't matter where I am or what passport I hold, the Chinese authorities will terrorise me anywhere and I have no way to fight that. Listen, there's people going to give out from any country uh, about their government. And, uh, it's a bit more and, than and giving out. That's, that's a bit more than oh, moaning I mean, about Micheál Martin I mean, or Leo first, Leifert, first of all, isn't it? Well, well, it's actually much of the same thing as far as I'm uh, concerned. I make it isn't. And, uh, hold on a minute. Well, listen, I mean, you asked me a question, right? Uh, so let me answer it, right? The, the figures on about... A million being detained, right? Well, I've actually asked the Chinese to go to, uh, to Xinjiang myself and see for myself what's going on there, because uh, given how reporting is done these days, uh, so much of it is inaccurate. I want to go and see for myself what's going on, right? And but the, the figures that that the Americans initially got on the number of people detained in the region uh, were brought up by one guy, right? Uh, who is totally anti-Chinese? He's a, mm. a right-wing fascist uh, from Europe. And are, are, are you saying Uyghur, Are you saying support. Uyghurs are not being detained, uh, indoctrinated I'm, 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 in in mass labour camps? I, listen, I, I don't know. I'm not saying. I actually think the Chinese have handled the Uyghur situation very poorly. Right? They're having a problem uh, with the region. They're having a problem with uh, what they what they regard as. Uh, large elements of terrorist activity among the Uyghur population, right? And I think the manner in which they're handling it is poor, right? Uh, but I want to go see for myself, and I've asked to go, and they've said that they will facilitate... Uh, OK, but, but you do accept, well, while you can debate about the numbers and whether or not it's not a million, there are certainly huge numbers of Uyghurs that are being detained in mass labour camps and indoctrination. Well, listen, OK, right. You, you said a figure of a million, which I'd say is a gross exaggeration, right? And I'd, I'd say there is people but being detained. But if it's ten people, people, it's too many, mate. Hold on, hold on. I know that, yeah. Uh, 
Well, listen, do you, do you know that a, a quarter of people detained in the whole world are, are detained in America? There's, there's 2.5 million people in prison in America, predominantly black, right? Uh, is, what, what, have you, what have you to say to defend that? There's absolutely well, I suppose the argument would be, Mick, and, and, I, and I accept there are huge difficulties with the US justice system, uh, flaws in our justice system, as there is in every... But you're talking there about people who have been tried in a court of law and found guilty. Not detained, not hold detained, with, not detained in a, that, and charged in a kangaroo hold on a court. Hold on a we, 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 you don't know uh, what, what, what sort of a process when. Well, I've heard evidence. I've heard evidence given by, well, we, by evidence, Uyghurs who are living in. in, in well, well, by listen, people I, who, who went through it. Hey, come here. Listen, would you, would you come with me? Uh, the yin yang, I mean, the two of us will see for ourselves. I will. will, you, will I, I would do that. Yeah, I absolutely would do that. Uh, look, well, let's, I, let's, I, just, let's just broaden it out. Uh, 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 apart from the, uh, uh, I mean, and uh, it's hard to say apart from the Uyghur because it is a huge thing. But there's other issues. Um, this, we're talking about an authoritarian state. We're talking about a state that initially covered up the Wuhan outbreak. Look what's happening in Hong Kong. We have a, there's an ex, a surveillance well, state constructed. Where's your evidence, that, where's your evidence that they covered up the Wuhan? WHO sent a team of experts over there. Right in January and uh, later, twelve months only back a couple of months I, ago. I, right? I, I'm not WHO referring just to be clear, otherwise. Mick. I'm making, just to be clear, are, Mick. Are con- contradict what you have just said. No, no, about no. Wuhan. Sorry, hold on. I'm, I'm not, so say, I'm not that. saying that it happened in a lab. What I'm saying is, in the early phase of it, they didn't reveal to the rest of the world what was happening. That is they told, the Ameri- they told the Americans uh, in the first couple of days of January uh, that the virus had broken out. Right. They told the Americans in, in the first week of January 2020 that the virus had broken out, and they told the WHO. And uh, the, in December 2019... Quite a number uh, of weeks yes, after the, after the oh, issue oh, was. No, it was only a couple of weeks later. In, in the early couple of weeks, right, yeah, they were saying, listen, let's find out what this really is before we release it. And uh, that wouldn't be so abnormal uh, if yeah. it happened in the West. Uh, journalists being de- detained, uh, human rights defenders um, uh, being expelled. Yeah, I tell you what, if 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 journalists are being detained, I I condemn them completely, right? But I know here, you would, I, and I know you'd have no and, time. And, but uh, look, uh, yeah, uh, listen, can, hold on a minute. Hold on, no, no, yeah, you okay, up, all right. Make your point about journalists, right? Yeah. Uh, it, Europe today will give out about journalists being detained in China, but it is not giving out about journalists being detained in the Ukraine. There's, there's three TV stations and radio stations being closed down okay. for not saying the right thing in the Ukraine. And we support okay. them. Mick, we're, and we're, we're, supported we're out of the US time. coup there in 2014. Mick, we're out of time. Can I just ask you very briefly, given the choice between being a citizen of the Republic of Ireland and a citizen of China, which would you pick? Oh, listen, I'm very happy to be an Irish citizen. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't stop it with any country.